So one more thing I want to do inside this component, this home component, is to handle any kind of error when we try to make this fetch right here. Now, that could be an error which is sent back from the server, or it could be a connection error where we can't even connect to the server. So in that case, we wouldn't be getting the data back and we need to let the user know that there's some kind of error. So the first thing to do is add a catch block to this right here. So let me do that. And in fact, I'm going to scoot this in a touch. And then at the end of this then block, I'll delete the semicolon, come down and say catch. And this catch block catches any kind of network error and it will fire a function. So I'm going to put that error inside this function as a parameter. And all I'm going to do is log this to the console. In fact, we'll call this E double R and we can remove the parentheses. All right. So let me now console.log and we want to log the error dot message. Okay. So this will catch any kind of network error. So that's if we can't even connect to the server. Now we can simulate this kind of error if we open up the terminal and cancel out of this process from JSON's server. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to press control C to cancel out of this and press yes. Okay. So now we shouldn't be able to connect to the server because it's not running and we should catch the error right here and then we're going to log that to the console. So let me save this and refresh and open up the console. So it tries to make the fetch. You can see it's loading, but then we see this error message right here failed to fetch. So we can catch that error. So that's a connection error. But what if there's another type of error? For example, imagine our request reaches the server, but the server sends an error back. Maybe if the endpoint that we've tried to fetch from doesn't exist or if the request is denied. In that case, this catch block over here doesn't automatically catch those errors when we use the fetch API because it's still reaching the server and the server is still sending a response object back to us it's just that the response doesn't contain the data and it will contain a different status now in this case we need to check that response object when we get it back so up here i'm going to do an if check and i'm going to say if then take the response object and i'm going to check the okay property on the response object and in fact before we do that what i'll do is comment this out and just log the response object to the console. Now we need to reconnect live server. So I'm going to run this command again, npx json server watch data forward slash db.json at port 8000. So press enter to watch that data again. So this works. But what I'm going to do is now just save this and come over here and refresh. Hopefully we'll see that response object. Do we? No, we don't. Console dot log response we've not saved this that's why so save that and then we can see the response object right here now notice this we get this okay property and that means that the fetch was okay and we've got data back so that's true if everything is fine now if we don't get data back for example if we send a request to an endpoint that is faulty or that doesn't exist then this is going to be false so what I want to do is check, is the response okay? Or rather, is it not okay? Because if this okay thing is false, then what I want to do is throw an error. So let me uncomment this. And I want to check not if the response is okay, but if it's not okay. So put an exclamation mark at the start of that. So now if this is false and it's not okay, the whole thing is true and it will fire this block of code. And at this point, I want to throw an error because it means that there's an error coming back from the server. So I'll throw it right here, like so. This is how we throw an error and we'll enter in our own error message. Something like could not fetch the data for that resource. Now it can be anything you want, it doesn't really matter. So when we throw an error in this fetch, it catches it down here. So if it's not okay, it throws the error, we catch that error with the message attached to it. So we should see that message in the console log. Now at the minute, it's not gonna fire that message because the response is okay. But if we change this 
to something that doesn't exist, like add on another S. That endpoint is faulty. It's going to make the request to the server. The server will send an error back. So this will fire and then we throw our own error and we catch it over here. So if we save this and refresh, let's take a look. It says could not fetch the data for that resource. So then now we're catching the errors. What I'd like to do is store the error in some kind of state so that we could output it to the browser. So I'm going to first of all create some state at the top const error and set error and we're going to set that equal to use state and to begin with it's going to be null. Okay so when we catch the error over here instead of logging it to the console what I'm going to do is say set error and pass in the error dot message property so whatever message is on the error now that could be this or the network error message so now we have that what we could do is we could output it at the bottom if we have a value for error so again conditional rendering error double ampersand and then we'll output a div and then the error if we have one so only now if we have a value for error right here where we set the error will this output the error so if i save this now and preview notice could not fetch the data for that resource so that works however we still see loading and we don't want to see that if we have an error because it's not actually still loading so what we could do is if we get an error we also want to set this state right here is pending to be false so it doesn't show that loading message so i'll do that as well i'm going to say set is pending and that is going to be false now i also want to do one more thing and that is to set the error to be null inside here if we get data because if we try to fetch the data again make a subsequent request at any point we want to get rid of the error message if it's successful so over here i'm going to say set error and um, we're going to set it equal to null again all right so let's give this a whirl one more time i'm going to save this and let me get rid of those i'm going to refresh loading and then could not fetch the data for that resource so that works if we change this back to blogs let's make sure this still works refresh loading and then we get the data awesome